So if you see a young dude with a mustache that's good looking, what do you think? Uh, I think it's sexy, I like it. What about an older dude that's got wax style that's got a mustache? Not sexy. What about a dude with the chin strap? Mm, not so much. Goatee? No. What about a big, bold beard? As long as it's kept well. Then you think manly? Yeah, I think manly. Studly? Yeah, I do. What about a dude with a short stubble beard? Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. What's up, gentlemen? Today we're talking about facial hair styles and what yours says about you or more specifically, what yours says to other people about you. Before we get into these styles, gentlemen, I do wanna just mention, if you are somebody that is growing facial hair, wants to grow facial hair, has facial hair or body hair, you need this tool, it is the Brio, and they are back in terms of the stock of the Zero Blades. Guys, they always sell out of this deal when I promote it, but right now for a limited time, if you go through my special link to grab the best grooming tool on the market, which is the Brio, you're also gonna get to grab the Zero Blade, either black or, check it out, the new sexy ass gold zero blade for free. Guys, real talk, this is the best grooming tool on the market. It's the Brio Beardscape. This is actually the 2.0 version. The first one was amazing, but they upgraded it. Right now, you've got a soft like rubber grip on the side. You also have an LED display that shows you like what the millimeters are in terms of the micro adjustments. Also, the runtime. All right, it also has a ceramic blade, a titanium rake. It comes with a bunch of different double-sided attachments, right? So this one is a three and a six. What I'll do is I'll pop on the three millimeter right right like that and then I'll pop the micro adjustments all the way down and that's gonna give me like five millimeters now if I want to go to six millimeters I'll put it up and simply flip the guard around and that's six all right it's got a bunch of different attachments and you can do the same thing and that's the reason why I love this tool so much not only does the runtime and it lasts forever in terms of the battery the other thing is micro adjustments you've got ultimate control and when it comes to your facial hair or beard looking the best it possibly can you got to make sure you blend it and feather it. and the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you have a tool that can do it and handle the job. I literally have no idea how they sell this tool for the price that they do, but I'm glad they do. And right now, guys, they're giving you something special. If you hit the link down below, you gotta go through my link. Not only are you gonna get to grab this, you're getting something for free. It's a $25 value. It is the Zero Blade. Check it out, right? The gold Zero Blade. Oh my God, this thing just dropped. You can grab it if you want it now, gentlemen, for free. You gotta hit that link, all right? The way that it works, guys, pretty simple. All you do is you pop the regular head off, you grab your Zero Blade and pop it on, all right? Just like that. And then, look how sexy. Damn, all right, and the reason why this blade is so amazing is that literally it goes skin bald, right? Skin bald, and so if you're somebody that suffers from razor burn or bumps, right, you pop this on, you shave it, you're basically down to the skin without it actually cutting the hair below the skin, which is why you get razor burn, bumps, and ingrown hairs. Guys, right now, Limited time, you gotta hit that link, and don't wait, because they always sell out of this offer whenever I promote it. They're back in stock, guys. If you're interested in grabbing the Zero Blade with the Brio, guys, the Zero Blade is for free. Hit the link down below, do not wait. This is the best tool on the market. Whether or not it's for your beard, or your body, or your balls, I use this on everything. All right, gentlemen, so now let's do it. Let's talk about facial hair styles and what it says about you. Number one, we're talking about the standalone stash, all right? Now, in the old days, right, if you were rocking a stash, you were either a porn star, a creep, or a pedo. Now, the game has changed. If you're rocking a stash and you're young, and you're cool, and you're hip, you look like a hipster, right? Your style is a little bit like next level. You're somebody that is confident. You are rugged, a little bit manly, and that honestly is what the mustache says to me and other people if you're young and hip. And that is that you're cool and that you are relevant, all right? You're also super confident because confident, young, relevant, hip dudes rock stashes. But if you're a little older, right, middle age and above, and you got a dad bod and wax style and you're rocking a stash, you don't look cool. You still look like a pedo. Add a little bit of chin hair to the stash and soul patch, now all of a sudden you've got a goatee, right? The disconnected goatee. We're gonna talk about the one that connects in a second, but the disconnected goatee honestly says to me, that you may be a little bit young or not able to grow a full beard because 
if you're able to grow a beard, why wouldn't you grow a beard? It's just, it's just the sexiest option, but it can be ugly, which we'll talk about in a second. But the deal is, if you're gonna grow a goatee, chin hair, mustache, and soul patch, in my opinion, you gotta make sure that you keep it trimmed and tight. You also don't want a bunch of loose, like straggly hairs on your face or else you're gonna look terrible, all right? Keep it edged up, keep it trimmed up, and you're gonna look hip fresh and definitely sexy and cool. But if that goatee goes all the way around and it connects, this makes me think that you are in your 40s or 50s and just out of touch with style. Unfortunately, I got bad news for you, all right? The goatee is a dated style. Back in the 90s, early 2000s, dudes were rocking goatees, all right? They were all like cool and like trimmed up and edged up and that's the one thing. If you are gonna be rocking a goatee, you gotta make sure it is edged up, but not like super thin and detailed. Nothing makes you look like a bigger douche than when you've got a super edged up or thin goatee or a chin strap or some type of weird like beard, which we'll talk about in a second, all right? Now, if you've got a goatee and it's big and bushy, you look like a redneck or you just look like a wild man that abs absolutely has zero style and is getting zero sex. And the longer that goatee gets, <laughs> the less action you look like you get. It's gross. It's just gross and it just is not acceptable in terms of a style for a stylish dude. Beards, that's what we're talking about next. All right, number one is a patchy beard. If you've got a super thin or patchy beard, Unfortunately, you look young and youthful and like you just can't grow a beard, but you really, really, really want to. What I'd recommend is trim it short, all right? Grab your Brio and just trim it short because long, thin, sparse hair looks thinner than like when you just like trim it short. You can also train your beard. And the other pro tip, if you do have a thin beard, if you dye it, right, if you dye it a little bit darker, it's gonna dye all of the hairs. The fine hairs, the blonde hairs, the baby hairs, and it's gonna make your hair look a lot thicker, all right? Some other things you can do to basically increase the follicle formation and the density is exercise, all right? Research has shown that when you exercise, when you work out, it increases your testosterone. The more testosterone you have, the better your beard will get and your diet. You gotta make sure you're eating a healthy diet and eating and taking vitamins and micronutrients that are gonna facilitate facial hair growth, including vitamin D, including zinc, including biotin. Biotin and the B vitamins are amazing for stimulating hair growth, not to mention the essential fats, omega-3, 6, and 9. If you got a super thin, edged up beard, like a chin strap, right? You look like white trash, in my opinion. I'm just saying, right? It doesn't look good and people just aren't rocking that anymore. It's literally like, it's just not good, right? The next thing that's not good is the Lucas. It's what I call a beard that doesn't have any hair underneath of the jaw, all right? One of the biggest mistakes that I still see a ton of guys making is rocking the Lucas, right? They'll have a nice beard, but then they'll just trim or edge up underneath their jaw, basically making them look like they've got a double chin. Guys, you gotta leave the hair, but you also shouldn't have a neck beard or hair that's growing up your face like a wolf boy, all right? The deal is <laughs> you gotta trim it up, all right? Neck beards make you look sloppy. Wolf boy beards make you look like a wolf boy. Oh, oh! Not good, gentlemen. You gotta make sure you edge it up properly. Ready? Boom, shave above. Here, here, here. Shave below, leave up there. That's it. Next up, let's talk about the big beard, right? I'm talking robust. If you're somebody that is rocking like a big beard and it's not managed, maintained, groomed, and it's just like really big, you look sloppy, in my opinion, but you look super manly and masculine. But not as masculine and manly as somebody that has a full beard that trims it. All right, if you're somebody that has a nice thick beard and it's a little bit longer, but it's trimmed well, tapered down to your chin, edged up, well-maintained, managed, conditioned, oh my God, you not only look manly, you look rugged, you look studly, you look sexy, and super mature. There's been a bunch of research that basically has taken dudes at different varying stage of facial hair growth and showed it to women to find what they find most attractive. And what they found is that the dudes that had larger beards that were well-managed, they perceived them as better fathers and more reliable, responsible, not to mention more intelligent and intellectual. But they did find the dudes with like the short stubble beards, which is next, the sexiest. Short stubble beard is perceived as the sexiest option out there. You also look a little bit more like a playboy, a little less responsible, but you're sexy. 
That's the good news. So give me a little, little bit of, little bit of that. Gray beards. What does this say? It says that you're mature. It says that you're not uncomfortable getting older. All right. Because one of the things that makes you look a little bit awkward is when you dye your beard super black when you're obviously an older gentleman. Which brings me to the next facial hair style. Anything that has been dyed super jet black. You literally look like you were trying to hold on to your youth with your kung fu action grip and it's not working because everybody notices, all right? What I would recommend is go lighter in terms of the shade or just let it happen because women find guys with gray hair or salt and pepper extra, extra, extra sexy. The next facial hair style is called the beard stash. It is basically a stubble beard with a longer mustache. And in my opinion, this is also one of the best styles going right now, right? It shows that you can A, grow a beard, which is sexy, but it also shows that you're extra confident and super cool by rocking a stash. It's the best of both worlds, all right? Take it short, maybe like a five, six millimeter on the beard, and then the stash, let it grow a little bit longer. It's epically sexy. Sideburns, all right? Let's talk about them because you need them. You need some form of sideburns unless you're doing some type of skin fade, all right? So here's the deal. All right, sideburns are one of those things that also help finish a hairstyle and just let me know if you know or understand style or grooming because if you're just cutting them off square or blunt up at the top of your ear, zero style, zero sexy, all right? You gotta let them drop down a little bit. My recommendation is to about the middle of the ear and then angle them slightly, all right? That slight angle is a little stylization that follows the jawline and gives your facial hair a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of extra sexiness. Now. If those sideburns are coming down real long, not cool, a little gross. And last but certainly not least, let's talk about zero facial hair. You shave it all off. It says to other people that A, you're not allowed to grow facial hair, B, your woman wears the pants in the relationship, or C, you can't grow facial hair. Because why wouldn't you grow facial hair if you can grow facial hair?